lovely to be with you again even though uh, it's only on YouTube but we'll still begin our special time together with uh, the usual greeting and your usual response back to me the Lord is here his spirit is with us well we're in the uh, season of Advent and uh, this is the special time as we begin the, the countdown to Christmas when we think about the arrival, the advent of Jesus when he was born in Bethlehem but we also think as well about um, in the future when Jesus has promised to come back again to be with us. I'm sure that uh, you've been in the shops and you've already pestered uh, those you live with uh, to get you an advent calendar so you can open those little windows uh, to get your chocolates and most of you will know uh, the Christmas story quite well many of you I'm sure have been involved in nativity plays but I'm going to focus on a part of the Christmas story today that is perhaps not that well known uh, but it is still uh, part and parcel of uh, the whole story it involves the birth of John the Baptist the one who would prepare the way for Jesus who was actually Jesus' cousin and uh, this particular story even involves Mary, Jesus' mother visiting uh, Elizabeth who would be the mother of John the Baptist so let's learn about the origin of uh, John the Baptist and how Mary even features in this story as well. I suppose the most famous Bible story is the one about how Jesus was born. I'm sure he must be the most famous baby in history. But the Bible also tells the story of another baby born six months before Jesus. It all began with a man called Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth. They were good people, but there was one thing missing from their life. They didn't have any children. Zachariah and Elizabeth were old now, and they thought they would never ever have a family. Zachariah was a priest. He worked in the temple in Jerusalem. Every morning and evening, one of the priests was chosen to go into the holy place, a special room in the temple that ordinary people were not allowed to enter. One day, Zachariah was chosen to go into the holy place. He was very pleased. As he stood all alone, burning the spices, he prayed to God thanking him for all his blessings. Suddenly the room was filled with light and there, standing by the fire, was an angel. Be not afraid, declared the angel. Ah! Zachariah screamed. I said, be not afraid, the angel repeated. I bring good news. God has heard your prayers. Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a son, and you are to name him John. He will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and many people's lives will be changed because of him. Zachariah thought about what the angel had said. Then at last he replied, how can I be sure that what you've said will come true? Elizabeth and I are very old now, too old to have children. I am the angel Gabriel, said the angel. I've met God. It was God who sent me with this message for you. But as you need proof from this moment on, until everything I've said has happened, you will not be able to speak a word. And with that, the angel vanished. Zachariah was amazed. He left the holy place. The people outside had been wondering what was taking him so long. 
and seeing their puzzled faces, Zachariah tried to explain. He opened his mouth to speak, but not a sound came out. And Zachariah realised what the angel had said was already beginning to come true. Well, a few weeks later, Elizabeth told Zachariah that she was going to have a baby. But when Zachariah tried to tell her how happy he was, he found that he still couldn't speak. It looked like he would have to wait until the baby was born. Perhaps you already know, but it takes nine months for a baby to arrive. Imagine not being able to say a word for nine months. One day Elizabeth had a visit from her cousin, a young girl called Mary. Mary had just been told by Angel Gabriel that she was going to have a baby too. When Mary came into the house, Elizabeth felt her own baby leap inside her. Angels and babies, whatever was happening. At last, the day came when Elizabeth gave birth to their baby. And, just as the angel had said, it was a boy. After all these years, they had a son. Wonderful, thought Zachariah. But when he tried to share his joy with his wife, he found, to his horror, that he still couldn't talk. When the day came to name the baby, Zachariah and Elizabeth and their family and friends gathered in the temple as the priest held up the baby for all to see and declared, I name this baby Zachariah. No, called out a voice and everyone looked around. It was Elizabeth. No, she insisted. He is to be called John. John? asked the priest. Are you sure? He's your firstborn son. He should be named after his father. There's no one in your family called John. We'd better ask your husband what he thinks. Zachariah knew that the angel had told him that the baby was to be called John. Zachariah thought that if they got this wrong, he might never be able to speak again. He jumped up and down and shook his head. He didn't want them to ignore Elizabeth. The priest and the people couldn't understand what Zachariah was trying to tell them. Zachariah was beginning to panic when a thought occurred to him. He pointed at himself and then pretended to write something in the air. To his enormous relief, the priest understood and sent someone to fetch a writing tablet. When it arrived, Zachariah grabbed it, wrote as fast as he could and held it up for everyone to see. His name is John, they all read together. And the moment Zachariah opened his lips and out came his voice, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I've got my voice back! The noise of what had happened spread throughout the land and all the people wondered what this little boy would grow up to be. One thing was certain, God was with him. Let's pray together. Lord, help us to remember you and your love towards us. Lord, as the countdown to Christmas ticks away in this season of Advent, help us to remember those who are less well off than ourselves. Help us to remember too those who are struggling with ill health, those who are poorly, and also those who are lonely. 
And Lord, we thank you for coming into our world 2,000 years ago. And we look forward to the time when you have promised to come back again. So let us now say together the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.